Well, good morning and welcome to Wood Village Baptist Church. I'm Tom Miles. I'm the associate pastor here. And um, we have a very special service planned for you today. The service today is about a legacy. And it's the legacy that our senior pastor, Bill, and his wife, Carol, are leaving as they retire from the leadership role in our church. And we're very sad to see that the sun has set on this season of their ministry. However, we rejoice as they leave 35 years of a legacy here at this church and in this community of Wood Village. And so we're gonna frame this morning's service and their story in the context of God's word. Because we know that it's God's word and the spirit of God that have guided Pastor Bill and Carol throughout their lives. And so this morning, you're going to hear from God's Word. You're going to hear praise and worship music, uh, specially selected by Pastor Bill and Carol. And because it is those who honor God and honor God's Word that, that God chooses to use to change the lives of others, we're going to hear from some of you how Pastor Bill and Carol have influenced your life by the power of the Holy Spirit and Jesus who lives inside them. So pray with me. Father, we thank you for Pastor Bill and Carol and the influence they have had on those of us in this church, in this community. And Lord, we celebrate today their legacy, but it's your legacy, Father, that we celebrate. I pray that this service would please you and honor you. We thank you for Pastor Bill and Carol. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So this should be a very uh, familiar spot for you, familiar scene. You've seen Pastor Bill so often uh, preach from this spot. Um, when I considered how to frame 35 years of ministry in, in a single passage of scripture, I realized pretty quickly that that task was impossible. Uh, a story that spans 35 years, however, might best be understood in terms of another story, a biblical story. And Psalm 78 is, is that type of a story. It's a story about God's people, the story of God's people in a poetic form. And so I'm going to read the first seven verses to you. My people, hear my teaching. Listen to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a parable. I will utter hidden things, things from old, things we have heard and known, things our ancestors have told us. We will not hide them from their descendants. We will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power and the wonders that he has done. He decreed statutes for Jacob and established the law in Israel when he commanded our ancestors to teach their children so the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born, and they in turn would tell their children. Then they would put their trust in God and would not forget his deeds, but would keep his commands. And so I think this psalm is fitting for our celebration today. See, the author of this psalm intends to teach God's people in the form of a parable, things hidden from the past, God's story, so that their confidence would be placed in God, not in leaders, not in people, not in riches, not in things of this world, but their confidence and their trust would be placed in God. He says in it, listen to my words, Listen to God's word. Torah is the actual word there, the words of God. And I will tell you the story of God's people, and I will share God's commands. He says, so that you and the generations that follow you will remember them, and that you will live by them, and that you will prosper. And so these are divine words and a divine story. And you know, we need them both because the divine words tell us about God and who God is, but it's the divine story where we see God's love in action. We need them both to be in a relationship with him. 
And so Pastor Bill and Carol, they've reflected both of these divine relationship, divine story, divine instruction in their lives. And because of this, their lives are reflected in the divine story of God's people. And so we want to hear some of this divine story from some of you. P. Billy and Teacher Carol, um, thank you so much for everything that you have done for my life personally. Uh, you've been there every step of the way. Um, you've been more like grandparents to me than anything else. Um, you've been my moral compass. Uh, you read all my high school plays and concerts. Um, you helped me with premarital counseling and you married me and Nick and you were there through miscarriages, through family deaths. Um, you've been there every step of the way. There's not a time that I can look back and remember that you weren't there present in a part of my life. So thank you so much. Um, you never judged me for my hair colors or my tattoos. Um, you were just unconditionally loving to me my entire life. So thank you. And thank you for being <laughs> the little bald head in my wedding picture um, because you'll forever be a part of who we are and um, a part of the fabric of who I am. So thank you. Love you. Hey, Pastor Bill, Mark and Gail Wheeler here. Um, just wanted to let you know how much we love you. Uh, when I started dating Gail just over 10 years ago, she told me what a swell guy you were and uh, how much she enjoyed having you and, and Carol as leaders of the church. And I uh, thought, wow, she really thinks a lot of him. And, well, now I do too. And, Pastor Bill, uh, the thing that stands out the most to me is the times in my life of great crisis and I would go to your office and you never told me what to do but you had this way of identifying the next steps for me and I would leave your office with a little bit of hope I didn't have going in and Carol you're right behind him with all your support through the years and I just love you both so much. Thank you for everything. Yes. My name is Bill Dirks, and I want to thank Bill and Carol and their family for all their ministry to my family since uh, 1973. And I'll certainly miss you at the church, and uh, thank you for all the wonderful memories and, and the ministry. May God bless you, and I, I love you, and take care. Yes, I'm Floyd May. I said I was baptized by Don Bolt. But I was very happy when the church had Bulging. had Bill nominated as our senior pastor. I've always found him to be, very, be a very kind person, always willing to stop and talk to you. I said there's been many times I've been in his office and asked him questions about something in the Bible or just sat down there and have a piece of his licorice. I says, one thing that I remember that he did that I'll never forget is when my grandson was just a very young boy, I said, I told him this was my grandson, and he kneeled down on his knee so that he could talk to him face to face, and I have never forgotten that. Also, I remember when he came to me and said, Floyd, don't you think that you should retire your paintbrush? And that's when I retired my paintbrush. But I'm going to miss Pastor Bill and Carol very much. I have tried to pray to pray for them every day. I'm Carol May, the other half of this lovely marriage. And I want to remember Pastor Bill and Carol as being loving and caring. We love you and we will miss you very much. And we pray for you always. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Pastor Bill and Carol, we just want to say thank you for all you have been to us. You are more than just our pastor and wife. You have been, um, you're a part of our family. Um, you've been with us from the beginning, from Jared and I married to all these kids, ups and downs of life. And um, we just can't thank you enough for all your mentoring and guidance, love, and uh, just being who you are for us. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hi, Pastor Bill. This is Ephraim. Uh, I just want to say thank you for welcoming my family to be part of the Wood Village Baptist Church. Thank you for mentoring me. Uh, thank you for uh, teaching my sisters uh, uh, baptism. Uh, and uh, also, I just want to say thank you for being humble and showing empathy toward others. We're going to miss you. And thank you for your leadership. Well, I had the good fortune of growing up at Wood Village uh, with Pastor Bill being the head pastor there. And um, I'm very thankful for the, the formative years that he played a role in my life and especially grateful that he played the role he did for Elizabeth and I, um, being one of the few couples he actually married. And, um, you know, that's a day and a memory that we'll cherish forever. Pro probably forever. <laughs> so... Uh, Pastor Bill, Carol, thank you so much for the role you've played in my life. And I'm just so grateful that Elizabeth got to meet you as mm -hmm. well. And and uh, I'll cherish that forever. Hi, my name is Jordan Spear. And Pastor Bill and Carol have been a part of my life, well, for all of my life. And I've always just appreciated Pastor Bill for being an example of an honorable, gentle, and caring man who's cared about everyone, including us second row boys who would sit in the front of his congregation every Sunday. And Carol was always just being so gentle and kind and loving and compassionate towards all of us. And both of them have had just such a huge impact on my Christian walk. Tears and sorrows, and questions for tomorrow. There have been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave blessed consolation that my trials come to only make me strong. I've been to lots of places. And I've seen a lot of faces There have been times I felt so all alone But in my lonely hours Yes, those precious lonely hours Jesus let me know that I was His own Through it all Trust in Jesus, I've learned to trust in God Through it all, through it all I've learned to depend upon His Word I thank God for the mountains I thank Him for the valleys I thank Him for the storms He brought me through I never had a problem, I wouldn't know that he could solve them. I never know what faith in God could do. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Well, that influence and that legacy um, that we can leave is amazing. Thank you for sharing that. 
The legacy that we all want to leave is, is a legacy of changed lives, not because we're anything special, um, but because we choose to follow Jesus and to share the gospel with others. How many times have we heard from in the sanctuary, Pastor Bill tell us that if you're still on this earth, you're here for a reason, and that is to share the story of Christ, to st- share the story of Jesus. Um, It's teaching the Bible and caring for people. And that's a legacy of love. And that's the legacy that Pastor Bill and Carol leave us. Hey, Pastor Bill. Um, You've been such an amazing mentor, uh, friend, and and pastor to me my whole life. And you're a large reason why I want to be a pastor. And if I can be half the pastor you are, I'll be on the right track. And I just want to thank you for always being so encouraging all the time. I don't know how many times you've come to me and uh, looking at something I've done and saying, another excellent job by Connie Crandall, another perfect job by Connie Crandall. And you just allowed me the freedom to be creative as I wanted to be. And the other thing, I don't know how many people can say that their boss, every time you come to work, has never been in a bad mood. And that's very true of Pastor Bill. Very positive. And thank you for that. Pastor Bill, you're a mentor to me, a confidant, an aspiration and an inspiration We're wishing you the best of retirements. Very excited for you. Just pray that you and Carol will be well together. Love you. Love you. Uh, I remember the many times that we just laughed together as we were in our new parenting class. There were a bunch of us together learning how to be parents. Thank you for teaching us. You are part of my adult Christian life, baptizing me, marriage counseling, and uh, just being a solid support for both us and our family, dedicating our kids. We thank you very much for everything you've done for us. Thank you, we love you. Hi, Pastor Bill and Carol. We just wanted to take a minute to share our appreciation and our gratefulness for you two as a couple. You guys have been just such a great leadership examples for the whole church and especially our family. We're so thankful for you guys and just the servant hearts that you have for our community. It's just such a great example for us to see you guys out there serving, especially on the Village Night Out and all the wonderful outreach programs that you guys do. We just want to thank you guys so much for being such a positive impact in our family. We love you guys so much. Thank, thank you. We love, love you. you. We love you. Hi, Pastor Bill and Carol. Thank you so much for ministering to our family. We appreciate your love and care and prayers. You are both great example to us. I consider you as my American dad. We love you. We are praying for you and thank God for you. Oh, Pastor Bill and Carol, it's us and friends. We thank you you for being our pastor for so many years. We thank you for being a straight up honest person who always told to me straight, helped me over some very difficult times, helped us over some very difficult times. And Carol, we didn't know you as well as we did Bill, but you seem the perfect wife for a pastor, integrity, integrity, honesty, being a real person is what I admired about you the most. And once again, we thank you and we love you. Yes. I've been going to Wood Village Baptist Church for over 25 years. My first husband, Donald, and I started attending in 1995. When the Lord took Donald home, Pastor Bill was there to do his memorial and to support me through the darkest days of my life. The Lord, the church family, and pastor's teachings were what held us together or held me together. Then I was privileged to meet my Terry. And in May of 1998, Pastor Bill married us there at Wood Village Baptist. Pastor took us through the necessary premarital counseling, which in the years to come were a vital part in the success of our marriage. 
He told us at the end of our counseling not to forget that he was available to do warranty work. And we have never forgotten that. We have served the Lord together for the past 23 years there at Wood Village Baptist under the gentle and kind shepherding of a true man of God. If you look up the definition of the word pastor in the dictionary, I'm sure that you will find a picture of our beloved Pastor Bill. We love you. Love you. Well, it was about 10 years ago that Jennifer and I entered this divine story um, being created here at Wood Village Baptist Church. Uh, I was in a seminary, and it, I spotted a, a gentleman sitting at lunch at a Spurgeon Fellowship and with kind of a funny hat on. He had just taken it off, and, and he was eating alone, and there was an empty chair next to him. Well, that was... That was Pastor Bill, and I just had a 15-minute conversation with him, and I fell in love with his heart, and somehow I, I knew that we would see each other again. I felt he was this pastor who had a heart that reflected my desire of what I wanted to be like, 
as a pastor. He reflected the kind of love that I wanted to have for God and, and for God's people. And it would be a beginning of this 10-year uh, journey that um, Jennifer and I would, would, uh, would participate in watching Pastor Bill and Carol, being mentored by them, and watching and, and listening. You know, Bill taught me how to be a pastor, from weddings to memorial service. It's all I, I learned from him. And uh, he and Carol uh, had continued to mentor us, showing us what a heart of service is and what a true heart of sacrifice is uh, for God's people. And to live, uh, to live as though Jesus is, that Jesus is the center of our life. And they showed us that. And that our role in, in, this, in this big picture, this uh, divine story, was to show the love of Jesus and walk people towards confessing him as their Lord and Savior, that that was our mission. And that was the mission of Pastor Bill and Carol, and they, they taught that well. But what they mostly taught us was that love is what attracts, and it's all about love, and it's all about friendship. And... We're grateful, and we love you both. Hi, we're Betty and Gary Larson, and Pastor Bill and Carol, we're here to celebrate you. Pastor Bill, not only have you been my pastor for over 30 years, but you've also been my friend. You've advised me, you've counseled me, but most of all, you've cared for me, and I love you for that. Thank you for your godly example on how to walk and lead a life that is pleasing to the Lord. I think of Carol and I think of her testing the potato chips for our memorials and our luncheons. And what fun that is. We love you. Pastor Bill and Carol. For the past 34 years, you have blessed our family by being the following. Shepherds, teachers, counselors, servants, voices of reason, confidants, and friends. Pastor Bill, working with you for the past 20 years has been a privilege and a joy. We, we love, love you. you. Thank you, Pastor Bill, for the encouragement you've provided over the years by staying faithful to the Word. And to you, Carol, thank you so much for encouraging me right from the beginning to join the women's Bible studies and to keep going. Thank you for your support. You were always there to back me when I needed you. I will miss that. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dave Schutcher. For 30 years, Pastor Bill and I spent time at a pastor's prayer breakfast every Tuesday morning, praying, sharing requests, requests to sharing life and ministry together. I got to know him well. Then we, Gladys and I joined Wood Village Church when I retired and learned to know this wonderful couple and the privilege that Wood Village has to have this pastoral leadership for all these years. Pastor Bill is wise, godly, caring, humble, very practical, and it was always my privilege to be his friend. Hello. Hi, Pastor Bill and Carol. We just want to say thank you uh, for all what you do and most important for open you guys' heart, your heart at the Hispanic community and embrace us every time and always smile and say hello. So we love you. Love you guys.
Well, there's one more piece of this divine uh, story that we need to share, and that's, um, that's a piece that if, if God's story, when we live it well and right, it should affect the very community that we live in. And so we're going to hear from some of our community leaders, our city leaders, about how the story that Bill, Pastor Bill and Carol have lived has affected uh, the Wood Village community. So, uh, Pastor Bill, it's uh, with a great deal of sadness that I record this video. Uh, you know, we hear a lot about the power of thoughts and prayers, and certainly when they've come from a man like you, they, they've truly meant something. But uh, actions uh, are often more important, and that's where we could always count on you. I first met you, you were serving on a community board for the active transportation plan. And, and many, many of the city events that I've been involved in have been hosted on your campus at Wood Village Baptist Church and have been worked by volunteers uh, that you recruited uh, in my uh, eight or nine years of service to the community. I could never have asked for a better partner or a better friend. Thank you for your years of service. Pastor Bill, thank you for everything you've done for our community. Um, both as a partner uh, in our events with the city as well as the wider community um, surrounding us and not just the times that that we've come together for something special but every even in the day-to-day -day where it's a stop at the grocery store it's a smile and how are you doing uh, we're really gonna miss you and wish you the best Pastor Bill uh, from Jan and I uh, I want to re remind you of an early conversation we had uh, when you and I were working on a budget committee uh, four, <laughs> four or five years ago. But uh, Bill, you uh, remember that uh, uh, the Wood Village Baptist Church uh, has really been uh, an institution in Wood Village. And uh, even for our family, that didn't often make it through uh, the front doors of your church. Uh, we were always there in spirit with you. And when my father passed in 1974, uh, we reached out and the church was uh, generous and we were able to have a uh, celebration of life there. So Bill, as I've uh, got to know you more, uh, I really understand what you have meant to this community and the leadership you have brought to Wood Village Baptist Church. Bill, you're a rock. You're a guy that gets things done and through your leadership, uh, Wood Village Baptist Church has reached out to our community, our Hispanic community, and other members of this community, and you've been an institution here, and you have developed uh, a belief, not only in your church, but also in this community, and brought many of us together. Bill, I uh, wish you well. I know this isn't uh, quite how you wanted to retire, uh, given the timing, uh, but sir, uh, you you have a battle, and I know that that journey is going to be difficult. But uh, believe me, uh, this community will miss you from your leadership in the church. We know that your legacy will continue. So, Bill, my best to you from John and Jan. Pastor Amen, um, you know I was trying to think about a time where. You weren't at the Baptist Church, it turns out. When I've been here, even growing up as a kid, you were already there. So I, that's why I could never think about a time you weren't there uh, in here supporting the community. It, it hit pretty hard and deep hearing about your, your health concerns and your issues and that you had to step down from what I know was in your heart and your, your life's calling and just know that, uh, you know, 
we wish you the very best in your recovery and the world needs more people people like you in it uh, we're all better because you've been here and we all hope that even though you're not going to be at the church as often that you're around is for as long as possible because uh, we need people like you and just thank you so much for your selfless service <laughs> Pastor Bill, Queen Pat here, as you often called me, and I always had to smile. I can't begin to tell you how much you've meant to me. Your sermons in church, some, they just usually always hit me, and I had to think. And your support for the community, our big jewel in the community was the night out, and you worked tirelessly. And I so appreciated that. And I appreciate your warmth. I appreciate you showing everybody what a, what a good marriage can be. And I, I'm gonna miss you, Bill. And uh, I just want you to know how much I love you and how much you mean to me right now and are gonna continue meaning to me. And when you get there, Bill, would you please put in a good word for me? Thank you. Pastor Bill and Carol, I hope that this service honored you and uh, your work here in this church. And even more, I hope that it honored the God that you serve. Thank you for loving us and having loved us for so many years, guiding us, sacrificing your time and your life for others, allowing uh, Jesus to work through you and um, leaving 
Wood Village and Wood Village Baptist Church a better place, a place that honors God because you honored God. Thank you for that legacy you're leaving with all of us. Thank you for the divine story that um, you've given here in this community, in this church. And thank you for the divine words that you've always left us with. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to celebrate your work in the lives of two people we love dearly. Thank you for all the words we got to hear today, the lives that have been touched, Lord, uh, by two of your servants who love you. We pray you continue to guide them in their ministry, that you would continue to produce fruit through them and show them your love. Lord, thank you for, for the legacy that they leave with us here at Wood Village Baptist Church. And we honor you, Father, by honoring those who have served and loved you for so long and for so many years. So thank you for, for blessing us and gifting us with Pastor Bill and Carol. And we do pray this in Jesus' name, our great Savior, our Lord, and our King. Amen. But before we go, we have one more a divine a story to hear, and that is another pastor's legacy. Pastor Bill, it'll be hard to express in a few minutes what you've meant to me over a 15-year friendship, a 15-year ministry. Um, it's It's been a, a privilege and a joy to to work with you and to come to you with needs and concerns and and to come to you with, with praises and rejoice with you. Um, one of my favorite things, the, the, the thing I'll look back on with the most fondness is sitting in that chair across from your desk um, and having long conversations. Those will be cherished for the rest of my life. Thank you. And as I think about Psalm 78, I've read through it many times with you in mind, and a few things really stand out. Um, the first is that, that you have taken the knowledge and the wisdom uh, that you have accumulated over your years, and you have passed those on to the next generation. And I'm a benefit of that. And I've been able to take what I've learned from you and the wisdom and the insight that you've given me and pass that on to the generation coming up behind me. Um, so thank you. Another thing that, that really stands out in Psalm 78 is the guide. It speaks of a guide. And you have guided this church through so many things. Um, don't have time to even to list them, but I know you've guided me through a lot of different avenues of life. And if there's one thing I really appreciate about your guidance is you never tried to impose your your own opinion upon me. Um, in fact, there's times I would try to draw an opinion out of you and you would just share your wisdom. Um, you were really great. You are really great at being neutral and, and not taking sides. And in, and in these days with heated debate over a variety of things, I think that's a lesson that we could all draw from uh, as you guided us through weighing the, the possibilities and the options that were before us um, and just being a guide, but not imposing yourself upon the situation. And the last thing that, that stands out big time is you're just a great shepherd and a man of great integrity. I never saw that waver. You never questioned what you knew was right. Um, and you, you just showed how a person can stand to their convictions uh, no matter what was going on around them. And what a fabulous example you've been to me and to so many other people. And so as I think back on the years that, that I've enjoyed under your ministry and doing my ministry, is that uh, Pastor Bill, you have shepherded us, you've shepherded me with integrity of heart and you have led me with skillful hands. Thank you. I love you.